So now guys, new of course, here bringing a brand new video, and in today's video, I basically just wanted to go over the new weapons that are in the game, and I also wanted to show a gameplay with one of them, whichever one I chose to unlock. So, for our first weapon, we have the XMLAR Full Auto Assault Rifle. Everyone thought it was going to be an FAL, but it's a full automatic with high power, kind of like the AK-47. And then for our shotguns, we have the Cam Chaka 12 Full Auto Shotgun which looks really cool, reminds me of the AA-12, that's look really amazing, and then we have the 44 Magnum, which kind of is going to be like a Deagle reskin with one more ammo in it, so let's see what we can unlock here real quick, let's go to the depot, and then let's go to collections, I really want the XMLAR, so that's what we're going to go and try to get real quick. But that's what we're going to try to go get real quick. We're just going to go down here to the XMLAR and try to unlock that. Hopefully I have enough. Sorry if you guys just heard a door slam, by the way. Oh, I definitely have enough. And we are going to be showing off a gameplay with the XMLAR here real quick. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this gameplay. And uh, I'll see you guys in that gameplay. Alright, so for our first game here, we got some TDM on shipment. This thing looks absolutely amazing. It's it's not exactly the strongest weapon. It reloads just like the foul, but it's like a full auto foul. It's got a really low recoil, as you guys can see. It's it's really nice gun. It's got 30 rounds per mag. Um, it's really killing it, honestly. No, 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 grenade, grenade. Okay, I'm alive. No! There's a guy right there. I wanted to get some kill streaks. All right, one off of UAV. Let's try to get this UAV at least. There we go, UAV. This thing has really low recoil. It's really good. I like it. Um, if I can get this gun gold, you'll definitely see a gold gun video about this because you know those are some of my most fun videos, in my opinion, the videos that I have a lot of fun going for and making. But this thing is a powerhouse. And I also really want that ch Cam Chaka 12 shotgun, so you guys definitely see gameplay on that maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after, and the 44 Magnum after that. That's the order. I'm just going to go primaries to secondaries, and I don't have enough depot credits right now to get it. I'll get a PSN uh, sort of card and then get the the uh, depot credits to get it. But we're 13 and 8 so far, not a bad gameplay. As I said, this gun is an absolute shred machine. It is shredding through these kids. And it can wall bang. Like, this thing has a lot of potential. Oh, I ran into the airstrike. I thought he would put it in the middle. I mean, I thought he would put it down on the side where we all were. But he didn't. But I wouldn't say that it's mega overpowered. And plus, it's less than 4,000 deep. No, it's about 4,300 depot credits. So it's really not that much to complete the collection for the to even get this weapon. So if you guys can, I would definitely recommend getting this weapon... As you guys are seeing right now, it is absolutely shredding. And this camo, I got it in the, the collection that I had to buy the buy for the XMLAR. So I just thought, you know, it'd be fitting to put it on for this gameplay. But we're not doing bad, not a terrible game. It's pretty interesting using this gun on shipment. And you'll get you're gonna see a lot of DLC weapons today, tomorrow. Just throughout the week, you'll see just a ton of DLC weapons and a ton of new players playing. Because, you know. The new weapons just came out. Final kill cam first game. As you guys can see, this gun is an absolute beast so far. But that's going to be the end of the first game. Let's see how it functions on a regular map. Because to me, shipment is just so weird on how it works. But let's see how it functions on a regular map. And I'll catch you guys in the next gameplay. For our second game here, we got some TDM on strike with the XMLAR. We should definitely see how it works better at long ranges because it did say medium to long range. This really reminds me of the ACR with how little recoil it has, but it has a ton of power and kick to it too, which is absolutely amazing. And the iron sights really aren't that bad. You could throw on a red dot sight. I haven't unlocked the red dot sight to try it out myself, but I'm sure if you put on a red dot sight, it wouldn't affect it too much. You probably could even put a suppressor on here and it would it would have the the minimal recoil that it already has plus you know this gun is just really looking amazing and a ton of people do have it it's not like black ops 3 when the new weapons came out and barely anyone has it like almost like a ton of people in this lobby have this weapon 
And I think that's really good that they they made it the way it's so easy to get depot credits and so easy to do all that kind of stuff. I really hope that when they unlock weapons in uh, Infinite Warfare to where you don't have to unlock it via supply drops. First, you can just buy it like a common variant with um, salvage and then, you know, you have the weapon. They might make the common variant just a little bit more costly, but other than that, I mean, this weapon is... Like, the new weapons really wouldn't be that much better. They wouldn't, they're not, like, it's not like they're better. It's not like they they need to be hidden behind these supply drops. I mean, they're really not even hidden in this game. I mean, the, the depot credits are just, not the depot credits, but the salvage or the bonus parts are just so easy to get that you just really don't find yourself stressing out about them. Like, stressing out trying to get them is what I'm talking about. And this is just such a good weapon, too. Like, this weapon really does kill, like, it really does kill it. Like, it does really good damage. Uh, next, we're doing the chan ah! the Cam Chaka 12, or however you say that. Um, that video should be out on the 9th. Tomorrow is my one-year anniversary of YouTube, so I really want to make a different type of video for that. Uh, you guys will see that tomorrow. But I really just want to make a different type of video, you know, just kind of talking about my whole year on YouTube and where I see this channel going in the future, which if you guys are worried about it, don't worry about it. This channel is going nowhere. This channel is staying for sure. I have too much fun making these videos and making the new funny moments videos. If you guys haven't seen, you guys should definitely go to my channel and check them out. If you guys haven't seen the funny moment videos that I've done, you guys should definitely check them out because that, that has been some of the most fun I've had making videos, and more funny moment videos will definitely be out in the future. Like, that is how much fun I have making these videos. But even making these informational type videos on these new weapons and stuff like that is fun for me to do. Just making videos, it's such a good hobby, and it really, it really takes my mind off of the stress of life, and it, it's actually made me... You know, more com But you guys will hear that in tomorrow's video, if you guys watch tomorrow's video, um, how YouTube has affected me, even though I have, you know, a lot of people would say a small fan base, but it really has grown quickly, in my opinion, compared to other channels that I've seen. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to really explain it. I'll, I'll explain it better in tomorrow's video, as I said. So just make sure you guys are checking that video out. I died twice in a row to that kid, come on. But as you guys can see, these iron sights are absolutely beautiful. Like, these iron sights. Oh, there's a headshot right there. I can't wait to get this thing gold. Okay, whoa. What? Talking about new weapons in Call of Duty, would you guys mind seeing new weapons in Infinite Warfare? I mean, they're already basically confirmed. So, I mean, like, new classic weapons would be super cool. Like, the ACR and stuff like that. That's what everyone thought the OSA was, but no, it's the ARX-160, which no one even cares about. But yeah, that's just my whole take on the new weapons. The new weapons, really, it's really not that bad to see them. It's really actually pretty cool to see them in the in the weapons uh, depot. It gives, you more, it gives me more things to do because it gives me more camos to grind for and stuff like that. And also, you know, just grinding out these attachments since you guys saw that I just got the red dot sight. There we go, an airstrike. Plus, oh my god. This will give people that are, like, in the Prestige Master range more things to do, and it'll keep the game more populated, and I really do, uh, like that. Especially with how good this gun is. This gun is absolutely If you guys have, um, the depot credits to get it, get this weapon. Not the depot credits. I keep saying depot credits. I meant to say bonus parts. If you guys have the bonus parts, oh, he's in the corner. If you guys have the bonus parts to get this weapon, definitely get it. This weapon shreds, as you guys have seen. I'm 21 and 6, second game ever using it. No attachments or nothing. So, I mean, this gun definitely, as I said, shreds. Okay, here we go. But I definitely will try it with a suppressor once I unlock suppressor, because I think that this gun with suppressor is going to be absolutely amazing. Just with how little it kicks. Oh, I almost turned that kid up. Hopefully they do a double uh, key weekend on this game too. Since I just did it on Infinite Warfare. I didn't really take advantage of that on Infinite Warfare. I can't find myself playing that game for hours on end like I can this game. So I really like that they added new weapons already on this game. Not that I wouldn't have played it if they didn't add new weapons, it's just that adding new weapons keeps the game fresh, in my opinion. Oh my god. 
Stunned him. He's in this corner. There we go. I've been playing a ton of rainbow, so like stuns and stuff like that are super good. But definitely expect more rainbow videos too. But that's going to be the end of the video. As I said, this XMLAR is an absolute melt machine. But uh, as I said, that's going to be the end of the video. So it's been the new enforcer. Leave a like and subscribe to the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.